photovoltaic devices convert solar radiation into electricity. The properties of semiconductor materials such as silicon make this conversion possible. The silicon with which photovoltaic wafers are manufactured is a tetravalent material. Its atoms are arranged in a well-ordered crystalline network. Each atom shares its four valence electrons with as many neighboring atoms. The material is not good at conducting electricity because all the electrons are tightly bound to the atoms. The upper layer of the wafer is doped with small amounts of a pentavalent material, such as phosphorus. In this way, this layer becomes a so-called n-type semiconductor. The lower portion is doped with a trivalent material, perhaps aluminium or boron. The result is a p-type semiconductor. The fifth electron of phosphorus remains unpaired, ready to conduct electricity. Boron has three valence electrons instead of four. The vacancy is what we call a hole. It can accommodate an electron wandering around. When an electron travels through the semiconductor, it must jump to a neighboring hole, occupy it, and leave a hole behind. Therefore, a flow of electrons in one direction is accompanied by a flow of holes in the opposite direction. For this reason, holes are considered as positive charges, also available to conduct electricity. In summary, zone N has free electrons to conduct electricity and zone P has holes, also available for conduction. At this point, nevertheless, both zones are still electrically neutral. But as a result of thermal agitation, some electrons on the N-side will spontaneously diffuse towards the P-side, occupying holes there and leaving as many holes in the N-region. The P-side acquires negative charge as a result of electron diffusion, and the N-zone ends up positively charged. The charged region is called depletion zone. It is about 1 micron thick. The charges in the depletion region create an electric field, just like the one existing between the plates of a capacitor. The field originates a voltage across the depletion zone. It is about a few tenths of a volt. Sunlight consists of tiny packages of energy, the photons. Photovoltaic effect will occur if photons are able to reach the depletion zone. So, N region is manufactured with a very small thickness, in the order of a few microns. When a photon reaches the depletion zone, it can transfer its energy to an electron pulling it out from its atom and leaving a hole behind. Under normal circumstances, the electron would quickly fall into another nearby hole, and nothing relevant would happen. However, the electric field in the depletion zone strongly drives the electron upwards. Similarly, the hole, behaving as a positive charge, is driven down. Now weld an electric contact on the top of the end phase. Weld one another on the bottom and connect them with a cable. We get an electrical circuit through which the electron can end up meeting the hole. 
many electrons do in the same a photovoltaic current. The current can be considered as driven by the voltage we previously found across the depletion zone.